I'm Joanna Small, Public Affairs and Communications Manager for the Linwood Police Department. It's Friday, December 3rd, and this is your LPD Video Week in Review. Here's a summary of the most notable incidents your Linwood police officers responded to over this past week or so. Like many jurisdictions, we've seen an uptick in the number of catalytic converter thefts reported. Now, unfortunately, they're widespread and there does not appear to be a particular geographic area that is hardest hit. But in the last two months alone, we've taken more than a dozen reports of these types of thefts. Here's a look at a vehicle associated with several catalytic converter thefts at Edmonds Community College in late October. If you know who it belongs to or where it is now, please call the number that's on your screen. Remember, these are felony level crimes and replacement and repairs almost always cost the victims thousands of dollars. On November 23rd, officers responded to a four-car collision near 208th Street Southwest and 68th Avenue West that was the result of a drunk driver. It happened when that driver suddenly pulled forward while stopped at a light, hitting the vehicle in front of him, then reversed into the vehicle behind him, then drove into a light pole. While there was a ton of damage, fortunately no one was injured. The driver of the causing vehicle admitted to drinking about half a bottle of whiskey before getting behind the wheel, and his blood alcohol content as measured using a breathalyzer registered as over 0.2, two and a half times the legal limit to drive. On November 23rd, officers responded to a report of a burglary that resulted in approximately $50,000 worth of items stolen from a local business. When officers arrived at Midas Muffler on Alderwood Mall Parkway, they found a side door that wasn't closed completely. There were pry marks on the door and the locking mechanism had been covered with black duct tape. The majority of what was taken appeared to be tools totaling about $30,000. There is a camera inside the store, but there was no memory card, so nothing was recorded. If you have any information about this crime, please call the number that's on your screen. On November 25th, officers responded to an alarm call at Greg's Cycle on 196th Street and walked in to a burglary in progress. The first officer on scene witnessed the suspect attempting to leave the store with a stolen bike. He was armed with a crowbar and a pair of bolt cutters, which officers determined to use to cut a padlock on the security gate inside the front doors. It appeared the suspect then cut a cable that was running through several bikes to prevent them from being stolen. The bike he was attempting to wheel away was valued at about $3,500. The suspect was booked into the Snohomish County Jail for second-degree burglary. On November 25th, during a routine patrol, one of our officers located a vehicle that had been reported stolen out of Bellingham about nine months ago. The female passenger of the vehicle was taken into custody for warrants out of Whatcom County for residential burglary and assault. The male driver told officers he had legally purchased the vehicle from a friend and there would be a bill of sale inside the glove box. This week, once a search warrant was secured and the vehicle was searched, officers determined there was no bill of sale. But there was about 20 grams of heroin, a fraudulent trip permit, and Washington State disabled placards belonging to someone in Everett. The actual registered owner of the vehicle was contacted to pick up the vehicle. Overnight on November 24th, several businesses inside Alderwood Mall were burglarized. Now this is surveillance footage of the suspect behind the Cinnabon counter, armed with what looks like a crowbar. He then used that to attempt to break into an ATM unsuccessfully, but he did manage to cause quite a bit of damage. At two other restaurants, he gained entry into the cash register, stealing close to $550 at one location and about $300 from the other location. Unfortunately, the only surveillance from Cinnabon does not provide a clear view of that suspect's face. And finally, do not drive a vehicle connected to a burglary to the Linwood Police Department, and then don't use methamphetamine while sitting inside it. On November 24th, that happened. The vehicle owner parked right in front of the police station to take care of some court-related business. The vehicle was associated with a recent burglary in Everett. When officers approached the vehicle, they found a woman in the back seat smoking what appeared to be methamphetamine. She was taken into custody for several DUI-related warrants. The vehicle owner is not the suspect in the Everett incident. It is believed someone else used his vehicle to commit that crime. Therefore, the owner was released at the scene. That's all for now. We'll see you next time.